there's one really good thing about riding a motorcycle, even with a passenger. If you've got to, like, sneak a fart, there's plenty of ventilation. <laughs> oh, crap, is this thing on? Kick them tires and light them fires. I don't know where that came from. I just decided that it sounded cool to say that. Welcome back to me and my shadow. How the heck's everybody doing today? Ah, it's a Friday. And again, for Texas, it's kind of uh, unbalmy. It's uh, like 95. I'm gonna run up here and get some go go juice. Go for a ride. Hope everybody's doing well. Ah. Oh, I missed you, motorcycle, even though I just rode you. <laughs> so, a couple topics today. One would be shadow haters. I mean, we always hear a lot about Honda haters, right? I mean, Harley haters, right? People that just absolutely can't stand the Harley. You know, if you're a Harley hater, you get called out. But apparently, God, I hate giving this guy this commenter on my channel. I hate giving him lip service. But apparently, I see the uh, Honda Shadow through rose colored glasses. And for those that. like the Honda. We're all living in a fantasy land. Yes, ma'am. Don't drink much when you drive, please. Thank you. But apparently we are all seeing this uh, Honda Shadow thing through rose-colored glasses and really it's all fake. It's just a fake thing. Pay inside credit cards are not working here. What? No, we're not gonna get gas here. Let's see. Man, I do not want to pay inside because I don't know how much it's gonna take. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, so, all right, so normally I would have filmed me getting go-go juice in the old uh, bike here, but I also was thirsty and kind of hungry. I didn't think you guys really wanted to watch me try to devour a Hostess cupcake and down a cherry Coke. So, I spared you that. All right. Sorry for that uh, brief interlude interruption but we're back at it now boys and girls I put my bag on incorrectly here it's one of those magnetic ones it's not a big deal that's why I like it because it's really easy to when you gotta get gas there we go now I can see what I'm doing all right let's get some air man Woo. So, I have no idea where I was at. Oh yeah, rude comments. Okay, let me back up a little bit. This guy wasn't exactly rude, okay? He was more along the lines of just kind of veiled rude, if that makes sense to anybody. You know when somebody's like... Okay, let's just say... During COVID, right? Everybody gained a little bit of weight. Not everybody, but okay. I gained some weight during COVID, right? Because you're spending a lot more time just sitting around watching TV and all that stuff. And then, you know, you, you run into, let's say you run into somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. And they're like, oh, you look great. Um, is that a new shirt? 
it just looks a little bit different on you. You know that kind of thing? Where they're not really going to say, God, man, you gained like 20 pounds, lose some weight. It was that kind of comment. It was kind of veiled politeness. Um, and sir, I know you know who you are. So I'm sure if you watch this channel, I'm sure that you... Uh, woo! sure you love that I'm mentioning you right now but when you say stuff like oh if you want to ride around real slow on the fake Honda Shadow that's mostly plastic which is wrong by the way uh, with no horsepower flapping your gums dude number one that's what I do I ride around and flap my gums okay or, or putt putt through the neighborhood flapping your gums that's the way he put it you know I just kind of but then he was like you know I'm sure that most people don't really know that the Honda Shadow is a rip off of the Harley you know basically trying to say you know what dude just get a Harley because nobody else knows what a real bike's like unless you're a Harley rider so that was kind of irritating. I mean, if you're going to just go ahead and call somebody out because you don't like the motorcycle, just come out and say it, man. Just go, you know what? I really hate the Honda Shadow, and I think you suck. That's at least a little bit more honest, right? So, let's continue on riding around, flapping our gums. But here's my point, guys. Why, why is it, do you think, that people spend so much time... I mean, and this guy wrote a little mini book about horsepowers and the crankshaft and the blah, blah, blah of this and that and everything else. This guy wrote, like, a lot for somebody that's a hater. Why, why do you spend time doing that? I don't. Well, honestly, if I click on a channel that I don't like on YouTube, I'll either click off the video, um... But I certainly am not going to watch the whole thing through and then leave a nasty little comment on there. I don't know. It's just somebody with too much time on their hands, I guess. Which brings me to my next point. I don't have any time on my hands. There's my point. Just kidding. So, um, Moto Alley put out an excellent video and he stole my idea. Dang you, Moto Alley. You stole my idea. I mean, you had no way of knowing that my idea was to talk about different channel sizes before you put your video out, but I still blame you for stealing it, okay? Just so you know, it's it's, it's all your fault, Moto Alley. Bad Moto Alley. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to digress and to say that, obviously, Moto Alley, if you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. He's got a great channel. He should be well above... The rate I'm at for subscribers and everything by now because he's got an excellent channel. He's got a lot of great points and he makes awesome videos much better than I do. Most people do, according to the gentleman that left the nasty comment. All right, Tim, let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. Anyway, so Moto Alley hit on a topic that I was thinking about doing, so I'm going to piggyback off of you, Moto Alley, my friend. I know you won't care. What kind of channels do you like to watch? Now, I'm going to differ a little bit on um, my point than Moto Alley did. Because Moto Alley, when he was talking about what he was talking about was, do you like to watch large channels? Do you like to watch small channels? And he said he wasn't talking just about motorcycle channels. He said he was talking pretty much about any channel you know, out there. Do you prefer to watch camping channels that are smaller or cooking channels that are smaller or whatever it is that you're into smaller? Or do you prefer the bigger channels or does it make a difference to you whatsoever? I'm going to narrow my topic a little bit and just talk about motorcycle channels and what I really like. And I think, to be honest with you, for me anyway, it really does depend on the creator of the channel. It depends on the content creator because a lot of times 
you see people change. Like I've watched channels grow and I've seen absolutely no change in content creators. And then I've seen changes in content creators as they've gotten larger and larger. And I think where it makes the biggest amount of difference is, is when content motorcycle creators decide, you know what, I'm gonna chuck the nine to five job and I'm gonna go for this YouTube thing full in 100%. Well. I think you're changing the tone of the channel when you do that because there's no way if you have to worry about making your house payment, your electric payment, your car payment, your motorcycle payment, keeping your wife happy, keeping your kids happy and all the things that we have to do in life that you're going to, well, I shouldn't say have fun, but it's going to be harder. It's going to, you're going to feel a lot more pressure. Just like Moto Alley said, you're going to feel tons more pressure in my opinion to create content that's going to get views and you're going to be really looking at it as opposed to the smaller creator that really does this as like a nine to five and yes moto alley again i'm copying off you because you stole my idea dang you but anyway he's right so i wanted to give it voice and say that if you if you're a smaller channel and you really just kind of do this for fun, right? And I'm and again, just like Moto Alley, I am not saying this because I'm jealous of anybody, because I'm really not. I'm really happy for those that their channel's growing and they're rocking it and they're just doing an excellent job and everything is really going well for them because they deserve it because man they've worked hard to build those channels they put a lot of thought a lot of effort a lot of creativity a lot of time a lot of everything into it man you put your heart and soul into this sometimes so they deserve the credit and they deserve the accolades so i'm really not jealous but there's a difference and it comes across in the feel of the channel, guys. It comes across in the way the channel, if it seems, to me, it just seems more real if you don't have that pressure behind you. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Um, there's a lot of people that would love to have that pressure and honestly, probably thrive off that pressure. Tree tunnels coming up, yay. You know how I feel about tree tunnels. Uh, well, it's really not. It's kind of an overhang. It's really not a long tunnel. See? Still cool, though. Anyway. So, I think it it changes the direction of the channel because you have to you're forced to look at the channel more as a business you're forced to look at it like you know this is my bread and butter now and you've got to start looking at more things like sponsors and i know some people that actually go out there and solicit companies to sponsor their to sponsor their stuff on their videos okay i know folks that do that sort of thing my nose itches uh, and I'm not saying I'm great or anything like that. I have had a couple people reach out to me. I've got one company, guys, that are that's reaching out to me. You can get a commission. You can get commission on any sales that we make just by going ahead and uh, placing our product on your videos and sponsoring us. We'll sponsor you. And I'm like, I don't really know if I want to do that, man. I've done a couple. I did the tail bag because I liked the tail bag and I thought it was something that was going to be really worthwhile for folks to take a look at at least. But this one is like uh, manuals, online manuals. Oh, look at these trees, guys and gals, sorry. Look at these, oh, you gotta love it. It should stretch on for like a mile. Instead, it's over with already. Um, I really got to find some different roads to ride, man. I'm all over the place today, guys. I apologize. This video is so disjointed. So, and I just don't want to do it. I, I mean, I do the maintenance on the motorcycle that I'd have to do. But you guys know me. You saw when I needed a new chain, what I did, I went right to the dealership, right? I am not, this channel is really not about tearing into the guts of the freaking motorcycle and all that sort of thing. 
I have to admit that I am not the greatest mechanic in the world. And I know, I know, I know, Moto Alley, you're going to say something. You don't have to be. You can learn. And there, and there is value in that. I'm not bad-mouthing those of you that do this, okay? That tear into motors and stuff like that. Because you get to know the bike. You get to know how it runs. You have a greater understanding of it. And really, honestly, you can fix just about anything if you have a problem on the fly. So, as I putz around, flapping my gums, I like that. <laughs> so, as I'm putzing around and flapping my gums, that thought came to mind. And, obviously, I think you guys know that I like the channels that are real. I like the smaller channels because they don't seem as, um, they don't have that professional gloss to them. They're a little more gritty. They're a little more realistic. Like riding a bike. A bike is kind of gritty and it's not all smooth and roses and you know, there's there's a realism to it I think that some channels lose. Um, I'm not going to name anybody in particular that I follow, that I've noticed that, that I don't follow as much anymore. I didn't unsubscribe from the channel, but I just don't watch them as much. But I will tell you one that's growing that I keep watching. Um, that, of course, one is Moto Alley. Number two would be Lucky Aces. I love his channel. He's got a great channel. And um, Uncle Bogator, he used to be known as... Uh, what was it? Micro Rides? No, not Micro. I can't remember his last name. Micro's the guy on Fox or whatever. Not him. Sorry. Mike... Mike Branch Rides. That's what it is. Mike Branch Rides. He used to be Mike Branch Rides and something happened where he got drunk at a party and some girl was a co-worker that was there and he lost his job over the whole thing so he changed the... I guess he changed the YouTube name of his YouTube channel to kind of protect himself in the future from things like that happening. I don't know. It was a whole drama. But Mike Branch is another real one. Uncle Bogator that has grown and he's getting bigger. But he still remains the same, man. He still does. And honestly, say what you will, but Shade Tree Surgeon, oh my gosh. I don't think the guy's ever changed. He, he's, he's got a formula that works. But you can just kind of tell who the real people are. Anyway, I'm going to shut up about this. I've rambled on quite long enough about the same thing. Uh, let's see, a little channel update business. As soon as I kill myself with this truck. I'm going to be doing a live. I'm not sure when exactly, but it's going to be coming soon. I will definitely post a community post and let you guys know well in advance of going live. Um, but it's been a while I think it's time to chat with you guys I, I miss that a lot and now that the schedule is set back in uh, there you go buddy Woo, sounds good man wow that bike sounded really good um, but it's time to chat with you guys again it's been a, it's been a minute and uh, I'd like to get back into chatting and doing all that again and also one thing I've been kind of thinking about that uh, and I want your opinion on it is uh, it's been a while now but I used to send in or have people send in pictures of their motorcycles and kind of do a compilation video showing everybody's bike I think we're gonna do that again because it's just fun to see other people's rides, what they've done with them and stuff like that. I mean, not everybody has a motorcycle channel that gets to see the, their bike. And uh, it gives people an opportunity to show it off. And I think that's awesome. So that's what we're going to do. I apologize for the disjointed video today, guys. But I'm just in one of those moods. And now I'm hopped up on too much sugar. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope everybody rides safe. Get out there and ride this weekend, man. Don't waste the opportunity to get a chance to go ride. Just don't do it. Life is short. Enjoy the ride. I think I should put that on a t-shirt. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching the channel today, guys. Oh, yeah, just the rumble. 
Man, see, I'm hitting rush hour traffic. And it sucks. But if you like the video, feel free. Like I said, all that YouTube stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Everybody take care. Ride safe. Have a great day. Love y'all.